Hey everybody, it's Sunday. Um, I haven't vlogged the last couple of days just because I've not really felt like it. <laughs> but um, just a couple of updates. I've just booked Stoke on Trent for uh, this Sunday coming, so the 15th of April. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> they have a lot of gladiator guests, which I'm excited about. A few Benadorn guests who I don't know. <laughs> I've never watched Benadorm. Um But yeah, it looks like it's going to be a good event. It's at Staffordshire Uni. So, and I will show you where I am. Because they have like um, a floor plan, a rough floor plan on their website. And I'm in the Brinley building in Caffey. Yeah, I'm in the Brinley building in Caffey area. And I'm number 28, which is all the way down here, opposite the cash machine. So. That should be good. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was the last table left and they only booked it on like Tuesday, I think. So yeah, I so thought it's only like two weeks away. Well, next week now. So I might as well book it, try and make some money. And yeah, I I keep saying I, I've been saying that I'll go to this one. Because it is, um, well, it's only Stoke. So it's not too far away. But yeah, it's at the uni, so it should be good. And it looks like they've got plenty of things going on. Yeah, I don't know too much about this one, so... Kind of a leap of faith. <laughs> but yeah, there's that. And I also ordered some sticker paper, and in case you're wondering, this is the sticker paper I get. I'm not too fussed about telling people what it is, because it's sticker paper, you can find it if you Google it. <laughs> but I get mine from Photo Paper Direct, and it's the... Photo Paper Direct's A4 Gloss Vinyl Self Adhesive Sticker Paper. Wow. Um, and I always get the pack of 20 sheets because it it comes with 20 and you get 20 free. So and it's and it's like the best price and the best quality I've found. So yeah, and I like using it because it's nice and thick and it works well. And I've never had any complaints about my stickers. So. So yeah, I've never had any complaints about these stickers, so I'm going to keep using it. I like this paper. So yeah, that's what I've done. So I've booked in on Stoke and Trent and I've ordered some glossy sticker paper. <laughs> that's my weekend so far. <laughs> so I'm finally getting to work on making some more progress on the My Little Pony print. Um, I was supposed to start it on Friday, but Friday and Saturday was just no for me. <laughs> Um, yeah, all the all the chores and errands seem to land on the two on those two days, <laughs> so no time to do anything art wise. But um, yeah, I'm liking how it's turning out so far. I'm just uh, still very early days, so yeah, I'm gonna try and get make some good progress on it today, and hopefully I can have it ready for Stoke on Trent this weekend. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, I should do. But yeah, let's see how it goes. Here is progress on the painting. Um, I had a mild panic attack because I did the wrong colour for Fluttershy. <laughs> I thought I was doing rarity, but it's alright. It's it's uh, fixed, <laughs> kind of. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it here for today because I'm not sure what to do about these gaps. Um, I'm thinking uh, Fluttershy's wings would be slightly visible here and if Pinkie Pie was like her body was facing this way and she's looking backwards I think her body would be fi visible here mm, well, like the top of her tail but I'm, I'm not sure um, but yeah just gonna leave it here and I've got a little gap here that I don't know what I'm doing with <laughs> but yeah I didn't plan out their bodies where their bodies would be so this was just added on uh, so was rarities, but yeah, I just need to fix like these two gaps, put something in there that makes sense other than just like a random background. Um, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see what I come up with. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it here for today, carry on with it tomorrow. So, fresh eyes.
Hey everybody, it is Monday and I've just finished the My Little Pony painting. Uh, I really, I really like it. I did like a loose galaxy background. So yeah. Ooh, can't wait to make prints of this. I think I will... Uh, I filmed it so I'm going to put a poll up on Patreon to see which video they want to see first. Well, which to see if anybody has any preference about which video goes up first, this one or um, the Kathy painting. They both go up, I just haven't done a poll on Patreon before, so I just thought, why not? <laughs> and I got another patron, so yeah, I'm super happy. Yeah, I also got a new Patreon, a uh, new patron on Patreon. It's really hard to say that. Um, her name's Kat, so hi Kat. Uh, I don't know if you watch, probably don't, but um, yeah, we're, I now have three patrons, yay, it's exciting, um, but yeah, that, that's this is all I've done today, <laughs> but yeah, I'm um, going to do that, and then I think I will scan and edit this and list it on Etsy tomorrow, prints of it, I'm not selling the original, but um, yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out, I'm, I'm glad I chose this one to do this one because I really want to practice doing more uh, detailed and group shots. So yeah, I think it will complement the evolutions quite nicely. Hey everybody, it's Tuesday and the results of the poll are in and My Little Pony has won. Um, so yeah, that's the video I'm going to edit now. I think I'll edit them both if I have time and then I'll upload the My Little Pony speed paint. Yay. This is fun. I like doing polls. <laughs> okay, I just need to take a moment to um, honour and respect the fallen pen. <laughs> I have this thing, I cannot use a new pen until my old one has either broken or run out of ink. I don't know what it is. I don't like jumping between pens. I'm a one pen person, okay? Um, and this one's finally run out. It's been going for years, <laughs> like literally years. Um, but yeah, it's finally passed on, and so now I get to use this one. I think I got this from London Comic Con at some point, and yeah, it's a really nice pen. So yeah, been like super excited to use this one. I have like um a drawer full of pens that I just I can't use until. The previous one has run out. I don't know what it is. I don't like jumping between pens. I mean, I can do, but I don't want to. I like using things up and then moving on. So, yeah. I love the lid of this. I think it's so cute. Yeah. Now I get to write with it. <laughs> sure, I got it from London. I know they had loads of different colours, and obviously I picked purple because purple. It's so cute. It's a pen shop. Okay, so I'm putting together... I want to do um, commissions at London. Well, at pretty much every con, really. Um, and I'm putting together a little, like, form thing that I'm going to fill out for everybody. And basically just... To, I want to know... I want to ask them for their name, obviously. And I'm going to ask them for an email address. And I'll tell you why in a minute. And I'm going to do chibis for £10 or, like, a head and shoulders... Um, <laughs> head and shoulders head and top of the shoulders um, watercolour painting for £20 and I'm going to ask him for like details so like if it's a fan art piece, what character that kind of thing um, but I'm asking for the email so that I can let them know when it's ready and if they can pick it up so basically for London because it's three day con, if somebody orders like a chibi um chibi drawing which is going to be done in pro markers then I'm, I'm not going to do them at the table because I suck at multitasking so <laughs> I'm going to do them in the hotel room at night and I'll probably have it done that night so it'll be ready the next day so I'll send them an email and they can come pick it up um, if it's not ready for whatever reason or if they commission me on the Sunday then I'll email them say it's ready and ask for a postage address so I can send it out to them and the cost of postage will be included in the commission price, so that's not a problem. And um, same with the water, well, with the watercolour, 
I'm not going to do them at the convention just because I don't want to take all my watercolours with me. Um, so these are going to be done when I get back and like postage is included in the price as well. Um, that and I want to spend more time on something like that. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, I think this will be okay. I mean I don't want to badger them for too much information so I think I'll just ask the name and the email address and what they actually want me to draw. So that would be cool. And it's nice and quick to fill in. So yeah. I've been thinking about this stuff for ages. Um, I wanted to do more commissions but I don't want to do them at the table just because there's not a lot of room and I like talking to people <laughs> when I'm, well, when I'm at a table so, and I don't want to leave everything to my mum, you know, like doing all the sales and stuff so, I don't know, I'd rather do them in the hotel room and then like sort out everything else after. So yeah, I'm also, I've also written out a note for, this is just like an old email, it doesn't really matter, just testing out the form and um, this is what I'm going to write to them, so don't forget your commission, I'll email you when it's ready to so keep an eye out. Um, I'll just print off a bunch of these and I'll staple it to a business card and then give it to them. I think that'll be cool, just because I know some people forget and I've seen like people like trying to like, find the people that have commissioned them later, so <laughs> yeah, just try and avoid the mad rush of trying to find everybody again. So. Yeah, and I might even, for different events, just hand write on where they can find me again, so like my table number, or if I'm near like the giant inflatable minion that seems to be at every MCM, I'll like just write that on the back or something. But yeah, that's the two little written pieces that I wanted to sort out. And I also want to do an example of each, so I mean I'll, I'll have plenty of chibi examples on my table but I want a specific commission example piece so that it, I don't sell it <laughs> um, basically and a little um, bust commission I think it's a bust or is it a headshot I think it's just a headshot but um, yeah I just want a, one example of each and they know exactly what they're getting but yeah I wanted to do commissions for ages but I always taught myself out of it <laughs> So this is a way to keep it. yeah this is a way to keep it simple and still offer commissions that I would be happy with and I think I can do overnight <laughs> except the watercolor ones they'll take a couple of days um, well they won't take a couple of days but I don't want to rush them anyway I'm getting back to work <laughs> okay so I'm just doing my little um, chibi commission example this is just the uh, the drawing. And I'm trying to decide what paper I want to use. I think I'm going to go with um, paper out of this sketchbook, which is what I've done a lot of chibi drawings in. Um, but I'm not 100% sure on the paper because it's just, uh, well, it's acid free, but cartridge paper. And I'm not sure if this bleeds a little when I use pro markers on it. Because um, it did in some of these, and then some of the other little chibis I've done, it didn't bleed at all. So I'm just wondering if I am terrible at colouring in the lines. So I'm just going to do a tester of it to see how the paper is. Because it is nice paper. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to do a tester, and if it works out well, then this will be my example. And it'll also be like on the right paper as well. So this is going to be the size of my chibi commission. Um, yeah, super cute. I'm trying not to go overboard with this, but I, that's kind of what I'm going to do with the commissions anyway. <laughs> I'll probably spend more time on a single commission than I sh probably should for £10, but, well, I can't help it. <laughs> but yeah, let's colour this in.
So here's the final little tester. Um, I really like the size, so I'll definitely keep this size because I think that I can fill the page quite nicely. Um, but yeah, it really does bleed. <laughs> and I didn't even do a line up, so can't go outside the lines on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah I'm going to try out a couple of different papers but I'm going to keep this size um, yeah and it didn't take that long to do so I'm happy with charging £10 for it um, but yeah I think I, I'll, I'll redo the same design on different papers so that I know I have a good comparison so yeah I, I like how it turned out but yeah it definitely does yeah it definitely does bleed um, wow that really doesn't show up on camera <laughs> but like all across the top like here is all bleeding and like you can see it there but wow it doesn't look like it's blood at all on the flowers but it has honest I'm not like and the top of the hair so yeah other than that I quite like it Hey everybody, it's Wednesday and I am just editing the My Little Pony, this painting, just so I can list it as a print. And I've just done some test prints and I think I have it. My printer does not like printing light purple for some reason. This was like the first test and um, Twilight Sparkle came out pink. Um, this, uh, ignore, <laughs> I printed it wrong. Um, but this is the last one that I've done and it's much better it's um I just kind of uh thingied the saturation highlight wow <laughs> I um heightened the saturation of just this little bit so and that's and to be honest this is the least amount of editing I've had to do on a single piece so I'm quite happy with it it's uh turning out quite nice so just going to finish it up, finish off editing it and list it on Etsy as a print. The uh, speed paint for this just went up and it's scheduled for 5 o'clock my time and uh, my sticker paper arrived in the post so yeah I think I'm going to do uh, sticker stuff tomorrow just so I can finish off this commission uh, like the commission examples and yeah, or I might do the stickers, I don't know. I'll we'll see what I want to do yet. <laughs> okay, so I've done another um, commission example tester, and this is done on yeah, cartridge paper. It's, uh, let me just get it. It is this, ooh, <laughs> the white on the white isn't dry on that yet so I'm like keep clear but it's just paper out of this pad and I feel like this I've had this paper for a while and I, I do quite like it um, and I think it's a much better much yes yeah, much better held up a lot better and the colors are smoother and I've done uh, the outlines in point one um, the 0.1 pen instead of the 0.5 <laughs> so it just looks a little bit smoother uh, compared to let's see if I can get a comparison going um, yeah just looks a little bit better the only thing is I'm gonna have to try and find um, a I'm gonna have to find um, a white Posca pen and get that because I've used I've tried the Sacro Jelly Roll pen, which is my usual go-to, and my white ink, and it just keeps, when it's dry, it goes grey, so I want my the highlights in the eyes to be nice and white, so it doesn't do it anywhere else, just when it's on black, so I think the ink from underneath is, lif is just lifting through or whatever, so I'm going to try a Posca pen, and if not, I'll just have to, I don't know, leave white gaps <laughs> where I want the highlights to be. Um, I'd rather not because that just hits a pain so yeah I'm going to try a white Posca pen and this is like a good few layers of white as well and it's, yeah it's a good few layers of white and it's still showing through a little bit grey when it dries so yeah just try something else but other than that I am quite happy with this um, yeah I think I found the paper that I'm going to use for commissions now I've just got to do my watercolour headshot example but I think I'll do that tomorrow 
so it's Thursday now and like I said yesterday I'm going to spend most of today uh, printing and cutting stickers because my sticker paper arrived yesterday so I have everything set up I've got a printer ready um, portraits ready so the Let's Studio is ready well just have to load something up first <laughs> but yeah um, I think I'm going to need a new sticky mat soon probably before London um, I mean I put double sided tape on it first to try and get a bit more use out of it but yeah it's kind of running out of it sticky well that was quite good <laughs> but um yeah so probably need a new mat soon but other than that we are ready to go my printer is running out of ink but um this is what I do when it's running out of ink I usually print off either stickers or badges just so that I can use up as much of the ink cartridge as I possibly can so I'm thinking I'm gonna get like four or five sheets of stickers before it totally runs out so yeah I know the black is um, almost gone so I'll probably print off ones that don't have a lot of black in them but I have spare cartridges there ready to go so yeah I mean I like doing this because um, if it's running out and it runs out halfway through a sheet of stickers then I can still salvage some of the stickers so like for example the first four might be completely fine but the ones on the end of the page will be not usable but it's better than running out halfway through a print if you know what I mean you still get some stickers from it so there you go same with badges badges are probably better because they're smaller so you get more on a sheet and it's just printer paper so yeah you're not you're not wasting anything so yeah but it's just trying to use up as much of the cartridge as possible because that crap's expensive <laughs> Okay, what I'm doing now is just um, brushing them, just with a big paintbrush, well soft paintbrush that I never use, um, just because the only thing that I don't like about this paper, and I don't know if it does it with all sticker paper, because this is like, well I've only used one other, but it gets a lot of dust and it can make them kind of stick together, well, not stick together, but it, it it's kind of like static, so it just kind of gets the dust off it. So, and it doesn't exactly take a long time to do. <laughs> so, yeah, I saw somebody else do this, and and um, I thought maybe I should try it, see if that's what's happening with my stickers, because I find that they would like, yeah, kind of stick together, but more like static. So it would just be tricky to pick one up at a time. So, ooh, so yeah. It's just kind of easier. <laughs> so yeah, those are the first batch done. Just check them. And when I'm brushing them, it's easy to check them, like see if there's any like scratches or anything. There's a bit of glue on that. But yeah, just go through and check each one that they're all cut nicely. So yeah, first sheet done. Like 20 million to go. Now I'm just gonna try and get as many done for uh, Stoke on Trent as I can. But yeah, it's mainly for London, but it's Stoke on Trent is an incentive to do it now. <laughs> so yeah, that's them ones done. Yee. Okay, so I think we're going to finish <laughs> doing the stickers today. <laughs> I'm all stickered out. But I've done, I'll show you the ones that I've done. So I've done my Vocaloid ones, done Giro, uh, Pidge, Keith. Yeah, I didn't say Lance this time. <laughs> I always get them too mixed up. <laughs> uh, Lance. Uh, Hunk, my favourite. And I did Will. I also restocked um, Carousel Escapade and My Little Carousel. I'm going to do a few more of these. But yeah, I actually got through quite a few pages of... I got through quite a few pages of these two before the ink finally ran out. 
so yeah definitely worth doing to use up as much ink as possible um, these are the ones that I've got left to do uh, they weren't as desperately needed to restock so I put them at the back of the pile just in case I ran out for whatever reason also decided to discontinue Courage the Cowboy Dog and the um, First Prime stickers so yeah <laughs> I think that one was only ever going to be like a limited run just just for self indulgence but um yeah that's where I'm at and I've used exactly half because there were 40 sheets in here I have 20 left <laughs> so yeah I should have enough to finish all these um, but yeah I got a good chunk of it done so and I definitely need a new mat now <laughs> it's like it's it's cutting through <laughs> but you know they're, they're pretty cheap to replace so yeah and I also think the blade is coming to its end now um, but not quite yet but it's I'm gonna have to look into replacing the blade but you can buy them in uh, the blade and the map together in a set so it's not a big deal so yeah I think I'm gonna leave the vlog here for this week so I can get it edited and uploaded tomorrow and yeah I was going to say something else, I can't remember what it was. <laughs> Must have been a lie. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!